Hey guys, it's your boy Jack and I'm back with another video and today, if you guys cannot tell from the title of the video, I'm here with a Q&A. So with that being said, key to the intro. You guys are helping me take one step to get to where I want to be and I, it's crazy. I, I love and I appreciate every single one of y'all. So in today's video, I am here with a Q&A, which is a question and answer, if you guys don't know what Q&A stands for. And I probably have done this a couple times on my channel, so fuck it, we're going to do it again. So for this video, I have my friend Maya in the background who's going to ask me some questions. I think she has around 20 years questions, and basically she's going to ask 20 questions randomly that she found online, and I'm going to be answering them. And yeah, I have no clue what questions she found. Um, so this is going to be an interesting video. And if you guys want to see another Q&A with me with questions that you guys want to ask, just comment down the questions down below in the comments so I can get more questions to answer because I'm not going to lie, I don't have any questions that I found or whatever that I can answer. So that's why I had to go online and find 20 random questions. But with that being said, we're just going to get started in today's video and hopefully this can be a banger. So with that being said, let's get started. What is your favorite TV show? Yeah, so I'm not going to lie, this is kind of a hard question because I don't really watch TV no more. Um, I don't even have cable, so this is kind of hard. I will say my favorite show for a while was All American. I was like the first couple of seasons and then it kind of got repetitive. It's basically when Spencer went off to college and when they made the spinoff of All American Homecoming. So that used to be my favorite show, but it kind of died down. Um, I would say I had a Demon Slayer phase, but that kind of died down as well. Um, what's my favorite TV show now? Um, honestly, I don't think I have one. My favorite TV show will probably be like sports, NFL, Go Falcons. Which sport do you like the most? That should be an easy question. If you guys don't know what my favorite sport is, are you guys even part of the Wong Nation? My favorite sport is football, easily hands down. It would definitely be football and then basketball and then whatever, whatever. But I definitely would say my favorite sport is football as I play football from 6th grade to 12th grade. And my favorite team are the Falcons, as I previously stated. Um, and yeah, but I'm also a huge basketball fan. I love the Hawks. I'm a huge Jeremy Lin fan, you know what I'm saying? Jeremy Lin, if you see this video, uh, let's collab. And I'll also say I'm a huge Atlanta fan as well, as I love the Falcons, the Hawks, the Braves, Atlanta United. I just love everything that has to do with my city. ATL, ho. ATL, ho. Yeah. What is your biggest fear? Ooh, I think my biggest fears would be definitely... I think a basic answer is just saying dying, because I feel like... A lot of people are afraid to die. But I would also say that I'm afraid of heights. I'm not going to lie. And I would also say I think I'm very afraid of failure. I'm afraid to fail. I feel like if I fail, I'm, I'm a screw up. Um, but that's just my mindset. I'm not saying if you fail, you're a fuck up or a screw up. That's just how my mind is. And that's the way I see it. But the way I perceive things now is that if I fail, I got to take it as a learning experience and then bounce back. But I'll definitely say dying, snakes. I don't know if I said snakes, but snakes. I don't like snakes. It's weird. I have a love-hate relationship with snakes as well. I love to watch snake documentaries or just snake videos on YouTube, but I will never, 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 never touch a snake or like have a pet snake or whatever. Like if I see a snake, I'm running. Um, and I would say heights. I think I said heights. I don't remember what I said, but I would say heights just a little bit. But I did get over my fear of flying. Um, so yeah, your boy's gonna be on vacation and flying places, so stay tuned for those videos and definitely failing. So those are definitely my top four. What is your pet peeve? One of my pet peeves is I hate when people give me bad directions. Like, I hate when I'm driving and someone doesn't give me the right directions or they give me wrong directions. Cause it's the difference. If it's like a GPS on my phone, that's cool and all. But when they're like, they try to give me directions to like a certain apartment or a certain house or whatever, that's a pet peeve of mine. I hate that. And like, cause like I'm the type of driver that like, I like to be in my lane to like, if I have to go left or go right, be in that lane instead of like trying to cut people off or this and that, because I don't like bad drivers. Cause you know, um, I live in Atlanta. There's a lot of bad drivers. Um, and yeah, I'll just definitely say, just I give me some good directions. Cause if you give me bad directions, that's, that's definitely one of my pet peeves. And that's probably one of the only pet peeves I could really think of. I used to have a pet peeve 
Well, like when I would like use my toothpaste, it would always have to be at the very end. But I really stopped caring about that recently, maybe for the past year. So the only thing I can really think of is just the uh, bad directions. What do you miss most about being younger? The things that I miss most about being young is definitely not worrying about bills. I would definitely say not worrying about a lot of things that I worry about now. Like I feel like back then when I was younger, I didn't really care for mental health because at the time when you're a kid, you don't really know anything about that. And now when you're older, you're like, dang, how does this feel? How do I feel? How do, you know, it's just a lot of overthinking. I feel like as a kid, as when I was younger, I didn't really overthink. Now I definitely overthink. I miss the freedom because now you have to work, school, um, time management. When you're a kid, you can just watch cartoons, play games, doing whatever you want. We have more, so much free time, and just once you get older, it's like it's gone. So I'll definitely say I miss those. Like being adult sucks, but you know, I'm trying to make my dream a reality. So fuck it, we ball. What is your idea of a perfect date? Honestly, I would say I am a basic guy when it comes to dating. I like just quality time. You know, quality. I like quality time at work. I like quality time where I can just get to know the person, where we can get the bond and stuff like that. Like nowadays, a lot of people will love those fancy dinners, clubs, bars, whatever. I'm not really into that. I'm more of a like, let's just chill, get some food, eat good food, um, and then just talk, whatever. You know, I just be chilling for real. So I'll definitely just say anything that involves quality time. Would you rather be able to fly or be invisible? I'm not gonna lie. I think I would rather be invisible. Just because I feel like I could finesse if I was an invisible. Like, if I was invisible, like, I'm thinking about this, like, this way. I can have all the money I want, all the subscribers I want, and just, like, I feel like I would just, if I was invisible, like, I wouldn't do none of that weird stuff. Like, I don't know how some people be like, oh, I'll be invisible to, like, spy on people. No. What I'm gonna do is be invisible and get my fucking money and my subscribers and watch hours up. That's all I do. Just take people's phones and just make them subscribe and like just basically promote my YouTube channel. I think that's what I would do. I would definitely choose being invisible over flying. What is your worst injury? I can name a couple of my injuries. My most recent injury was in Jamaica. Here's a clip. Let's go off this board. Yeah! Oh snap! I was just down there. Now I'm up here. I gotta go slide. I just fell. Hey man, I almost just died. I caught that shit on camera though. And some other injuries other than that, because I know that injury wasn't that bad because it's just me falling into a river. It's more funny than bad. Um, definitely, I did scrape up my leg a little bit, but it's fine. And uh, I'll definitely say some of the worst injuries I had were, I definitely like sprained both of my ankles, like rolled both of them. I think I sprained my knee, something like that, in eighth grade. I don't remember because I just remember my knee was hurting and stuff like that. Oh, I also hurt my shoulder from playing football, um, my right shoulder. Uh, it's definitely not healed because sometimes it hurts if I, like, throw too hard or, like, throw the football too hard. But, like, just some motion, sometimes it still hurts. I would definitely say that my worst injuries would probably would be my concussions as I think I've gotten three, three-ish or something like that. Um, so yeah, definitely concussions from football because like with ankles and shoulders or like scraping your knee like like how I fell and scraped my knee and stuff like that. All of that stuff could heal over time but with concussions that's like an everlasting impact. Like I used to get very very bad migraines to the point where like I would cry to sleep but now it's not as bad since I stopped playing of course. But definitely, I still get some of the effects. Like, I got into a car accident recently. I got hit from the back. And I will say, like, for a couple of weeks, it did give me some headaches. But I'm good now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, definitely, worst injuries have to be my concussions. What superpower would you have? So for me, something that I think I would pick or something that's realistic to me, that, that's always intrigued me or caught my eye, is definitely, like, stuff that involves time. Whether it's, like, time traveling or teleportation or stopping time, playing on time. I would definitely say I would want like a superpower where I'm able to do something like that. Either go back in time, go into the future, stop time, um, teleport. You know what I'm saying? Just something that involves the time because like, I don't know, that's, something, that's always caught my eye. So I think it would be cool if I could do that and definitely not go back in time and like get some history and change history a little bit. Not for that, you know what I mean? Not for my game or nothing, but you know, we'll see.
definitely i'm not gonna lie if i could change time i'll go back in time and get more subscribers but that's not the point um but yeah i'll definitely say something that has to do with time like that's the superpower i want something that has to do with time what is your morning routine so for my morning routine i have like 10 plus alarms that are five minutes apart so i don't ever want to be late so i always snooze but not snooze because i don't like snoozing because like when you hit the snooze button on your phone it's like not um equal i guess so like it's always at different times some snooze for like eight five minutes well i don't know how that works so to train my body i have five minute intervals so that i know i have to get up so like for example like there's been days where i wake up at exactly like 705 or 710 or 715 at those like specific times because i've trained my body to wake up at those times and once i wake up i for the most part, I really just turn off the alarms and go back to sleep um, because I'm not going to lie, I've been sleep deprived because your boy's been grinding. But after I wake up, I go, you know, handle, you know, your morning business in the bathroom, brush my teeth, um, and then I just get ready for work because I shower at night. Um, sometimes I shower in the morning if I have time, but I'm a night shower, um, so I go to sleep clean. And yeah, that's basically it. I don't really have a morning routine. I just sleep through my alarms get up, use the bathroom, brush my teeth, and then get ready for my day. So it's pretty quick, pretty simple. So yeah. What is your nightly routine? This might be a little TMI, but you know, after a long day of eating food or whatever, you know, you gotta handle your business. So normally, before my shower, I, you know, sit on my toilet for maybe like 30 minutes, just on my phone, doing my business, doing what I gotta do. And then I get in the shower, and then after that, I just be chilling. Um, I lay in my bed, um, I work on videos, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, I'll definitely say at night. That's like the only time I get to have time to watch videos and have free time. So I watch a lot of videos if I'm not staying up editing or doing homework. Um, I used to play a lot of video games, but lately I haven't been able to just because of school. So hopefully once I graduate, I could, you know, go back to being a gamer boy, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, at night, I really just be chilling, not really doing much. Like, so after I shower, I just... Chill, either lay in bed, watching YouTube, editing, doing homework, sometimes gaming, just depends. So it's kind of basic. And then I sleep. I've been sleeping really late. Like I've been going to sleep at like maybe one, two-ish, waking up early at like eight, nine-ish. So yeah, sleep deprived, but you know, we all good. I will sleep when I'm done grinding. What is something you want to improve on? I want to improve on my YouTube channel, of course. Uh, definitely improve the video quality, whether it's the editing, camera quality, uh, audio quality, stuff like that. And I, I'll definitely say, like, just personal and mentally. Like, when I say personal, I mean, like, I meant physically. Like, I want to lose weight, get toned, get in shape, stuff like that. And then mentally, I just want to do, like, better mentally. Not letting my overthinkingness, whatever, beat whatever, the, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say, like, just try not to overthink as much or try to just control things that only I can control. That's what I'm trying to say. And just basically just not let my mind win sometimes because, you know, sometimes your mind can go to a bad place and just try not to let that bad place win. You know what I'm saying? So definitely those are stuff that I want to improve on. What celebrity do you look up to? So some celebrities that I look up to are, I definitely look up to Draymond Lynn. I feel like I relate to Draymond Lynn just because we are both Asian Americans playing sports that have like no Asians in it. Like he was a big role model of mine. Like growing up, I really wanted to be a basketball player just like him, but I was too chubby. So I went to go play football instead, which I love football way more now than basketball. No offense to people who like basketball, but like I just saw him how he, like he got kicked out of the league for basically being Asian. That's my point of view. I get that he does injuries and other things, but me personally, I think he got kicked out of the league just because he's Asian. Because it sucks because me personally, I've dealt with like the same thing as I have had coaches not give me playtime because I'm Asian. And it sucks, but that's just life because that's just the cards we were dealt with. And sometimes we just have to take that adversity and take it by its neck and just fight through it. And that's all we can do. So I'll definitely say Jeremy Lin is definitely one of my celebrity people that I look up to like him and I'll definitely say Ryan Higa as he's definitely one of the reasons why I started doing YouTube like I love watching his skits like how to be ninja how to be gangster all those stuff and just how he used to just 
be, he was definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. It sucks that he doesn't upload videos like he used to. As I definitely understand why. Um, but he's definitely one of the reasons why I do what I do now. So I definitely look up to him. I would definitely say those two are like my main role models as of right now. Because I can't really think of any others. But I'll definitely say because of those two, I want to make a name for the Asian community like how they do. I want to change the community if that makes sense. What makes you proud? Man, I'm proud to be Asian, bro. Like, as bad as it sounds, like, when I was growing up, I'm not gonna lie, I was very ashamed to be Asian just because, like, of all the bullying and stuff back then. But I am now a proud Asian American. I'm proud to be Malaysian. I'm proud to be Taiwanese. I'm proud to be Asian, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, I used to get made fun of my height, my skin color, um, or whatever. And I was like, oh, I don't want to be Asian. But now it's just like, I'm going to own me. Like, this is me. I can't change how I was raised or how I was born. or like You know what I mean? I was, like, born the way I was am, you know? So I'm just like, it is what it is. I'm proud to be me. I'm proud to be a big-ass Asian. So if those people that talk bad about me, they talk bad about me. I don't really care, you know what I'm saying? Definitely there are some good days and bad days that sometimes it does get to me. But now it's just like, I'm proud to be me. And I just be myself a weird, goofy dude, so... Yeah. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is wings, bro. I love wings. I will fuck up wings, bro. Like, and like, people be asking me, what's your favorite wing favorite? It just depends on mood. Sometimes I like Caribbean jerk. Sometimes I like Cajun. Sometimes I like hot. Sometimes I like hot lemon pepper or just regular lemon pepper. It really just depending on my mood. But I would definitely say my favorite food are wings. So the key to my heart is wings. So if you want my heart, give me some wings. Or cook me some wings. What genre of music do you listen to the most? So... When it comes to my music taste, my music taste is all over the place. And when people say all over, they don't really mean all over. Because they'll be like, oh, I don't listen to country. I don't listen to this, that, or that. For me, I listen to all types of genre. Like I said, it just really depends on the mood. So sometimes I listen to like pop, to hip hop, to rap, to K-pop, to K-R&B, to Chinese music, or uh, well, like I guess it was C-pop, Chinese pop, something like that, to country, to like rock, to like, my music taste is all over the place. So I would definitely say I have a very diverse uh, playlist, um, but yeah, my music is definitely all over the place. If you guys want me to do like a music playlist or whatever, that can let me know. But yeah, I would definitely say my music taste is all over the place. What has been the biggest motivation in your life? I would say the biggest motivation in my life is definitely my parents. Um, just because I know how much they have sacrificed for me to be here in America, in Georgia, in college. I just know how much they sacrificed for me. And, like, I know we have our differences. Not differences, but just, yeah, differences. Just to make a long story short. But I now understand that they have sacrificed a lot for me. for Just for me to have this opportunity to be here. So now for me, it's just like, I want to be able to give back to them, even though we do have our differences and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I want to give back to them as I now understand why, like the way I was raised is because they had to sacrifice a lot to just be here for like, you know what I mean? So like, I would love to say my parents and their story and stuff like that motivate me to give back to them, be better for me and just live the life that I feel like I deserve. What is your most embarrassing moment? All right, so here's an embarrassing moment. Um, I think I've told this story, but this is my junior year of high school. And so what happened was, you know like those rails that people would be sliding down on, like they would sit and slide down? There was one going down to our field house, our football field house. So during lunch, me and my teammate went down to go to the field house to use the bathroom, because you know, um, I don't know if this is just my school, but yeah, all the football players would go to the field house to, you know, use the bathroom and stuff like that, do what they gotta do. And so me and my teammate went after lunch. So he would walk down the stairs and I slid down that shit and there was like a broken rail and fucking, I was the unfortunate one that slid through that shit and it, it ripped my pants and it cut from like my fucking like left ass cheek all the way down to like my back of my knee and there was like a red scar. And luckily, I think I had an extra pair of pants in my locker, um, but I was bleeding. <laughs> I was bleeding a lot. So I had to go to the, the nurse and my teammate went with me and he had to fucking get like what like the cleaning supplies, the antibiotics or whatever. I don't know what. And he had to fucking wipe my ass with the cleaning supplies. So I would definitely say that's one of the most embarrassing stories because um, I feel like we both vowed not to tell that, but I'm sorry. Um, but I didn't say his name, so we're good. Um, but yeah, like, that, yeah, that was definitely one of my most embarrassing stories. 
Um, I feel like not a lot of people know about that, but now y'all do. Um, and also, like, I had to go, like, get, like, tetanus shots because, like, that, that, that rail was very rusty. But, yeah, we're all good now. We're alive now. It happened, like, maybe, like, six years ago. So we're all good now. Um, I'll say that's definitely one of my most embarrassing stories that I can remember. And, yeah, to this day, I still have the scar. You guys are not going to see the scar on my booty cheeks. But, yeah, I still have that scar. And, yeah, th I also have a lot of other embarrassing moments but now it's just like i am who i am like whatever happens happens so i don't really get embarrassed by much what is one thing you cannot live without i feel like i cannot live without youtube i feel like i'm always on youtube youtube's the app that i'm always on i'm always watching videos always coming up with ideas always just on the app like i love youtube y'all should sponsor me or whatever um but yeah i definitely love youtube um so i feel like i cannot live without it especially since this is my dream i want to become a successful youtuber so i'll definitely say YouTube. I can't live without YouTube. Lastly, are you a good singer? Am I a good singer? I'm not gonna cap. I don't think I'm the best singer. I don't think I'm the worst singer. I think I'm alright. I felt like if I actually practiced singing, I could actually be a great singer. But, you know, I don't know. Ah, I don't know. I'm not gonna sing for y'all right now. You guys will definitely have to like blow this video up for me to sing. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking about doing a cover of a song for y'all, for Wong Miss, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I'm there yet. I'm not that bold with my singing because I'm not that confident because I don't think I'm that good, but I don't think I'm bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I'm just average, maybe a little above average. Um, it just depends on certain notes, certain songs. I feel like if I go karaoke, I feel like I could, I could steal the show. Um, so to, to answer that question, I think I can sing. And yeah, that is going to conclude today's Q&A. And if you guys have any other questions, just let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you guys got to get to know me a little more. And if you guys want to see another Q&A, just let me know by liking this video and I'll know to get another Q&A out for y'all. But with that being said, I have nothing left for you guys in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share your boys out.